What better way to spend a distressing moment than watch a beautiful ornamental fish swim in an aquarium or a bowl at work or at home? With the world today looking for success, tranquility and peace, fish aquariums have come to stay as well, gently fueled by the belief that fish is a symbol of wealth. In the last two decades, there seems to have been a resurgence of fish keeping as a hobby in most homes and offices. This in turn has grown the aquarium fish trade globally in that it stands at an astounding 20 billion US dollars today. More than 120 countries are involved in ornamental fish trade. In the last decade, it became important that countries such as India too moved quickly into this growth area. What with its having a wonderful climate, rich biodiversity, abundant water resources, and a very large base of manpower. Until a few years ago, most of the ornamental fish export from India was the wild-caught species. Today, with the vision and foresight of MPEDA, much of this has changed. About 98% of marine fish are caught in the wild. Today, 30 freshwater species dominate the market. The popular are guppies, platys, Swart tails, mollies, neon tetra, angel fishes, goldfish, zebra danio, discus, and barbs. The ready availability of fresh water and brackish water bodies, plus the seas around the Indian subcontinent, make India a ready to market destination when it comes to exotic ornamental fish varieties. The reef waters of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Lakshadweep, South Maharashtra, and South Kerala hold great potential for ornamental fish breeding. Similarly, the Western Ghats and the Northeast region have been earmarked as hotspots of the world for biodiversity conservation. For instance, the brightly colored red line torpedo bard fetches very high value in the international market. With this kind of facility already in place, what MPEDA choose to do is to provide the infrastructure and knowledge on feed improved broodstock quality and better practices to new entrepreneurs who were interested in breeding ornamental fish. With ornamental fish breeding being specialized, it becomes critical that training and on-the-ground monitoring of breeding units is carried out seamlessly. With units dotting both rural and urban towns and cities, constant upgradation of knowledge is a must as it ties in with market demands and scientific advancement as well. From basic training of setting up units to advanced and specialized training for exports, programs are rolled out on a regular basis so that the breeders are of world standard. MPEDA has also laid the guidelines for green certification of freshwater ornamental fishes. Breeders who collect from the wild are supervised by MPEDA in order to ensure that the fish is collected from the right kind of streams or rivers. The fishing practices are looked into as the fish should not be damaged during the process. Fishing in the wild requires proper gear while handling fishes, while transferring from the nets to the containers, needs extra care. However, MPEDA has recognized that fishing in the wild may not be sustainable and hence encourages captive breeding while ensuring that there are NGOs who educate those who fish in the wild so that they adhere to ideal fishing conditions. For ornament fish entrepreneurs, the production cycle from maturing to breeding, larval rearing, grow out, conditioning and till sales, the life cycle is about four months. Except in the case of high value species like arowana, this process ensures quick returns to breeders. The breeding and culture unit consists of broodstock tanks, larval rearing tanks, breeding tanks, live feed cultures, water treatment systems, etc. MPEDA encourages new breeders to breed live breeders like guppies, mollies, platys and swart tails which are tolerant when it comes to water and food variation. Egg layers like goldfish, barbs, betas, tetras, angelfish and gormi can yield high returns as well. 
Induced breeding is scientific and recommended to those who have a sound knowledge of biology and in-depth understanding of ambient conditions of fish and its requirements. Feeding is a critical activity for any breeder and care needs to be taken of production of fish feed. Culling takes place when fishes grow out to the required sizes. Stunted, diseased and weak fish are removed and the rest is graded to maintain uniformity of saleable size. Fishes reach three main hubs for ornamental fish, Kolkata, Chennai and Mumbai from all over the country. From here they are exported to EU, United States of America and Japan. Pre-shipment quarantine is essential to ensure supply of healthy fish to the buyer. Hence, the catch is stocked in a fully biosecured facility before shipment. Being delicate, ornamental fish need to be handled with utmost care during packaging in order to avoid mortality. Preconditioning is also required so that stress due to transportation is also avoided and there is no disease or death. MPEDA ensures that all infrastructure and technology to safeguard against loss or damage is in place. MPEDA is the central competent authority in India for pre-shipment inspection and certification of ornamental fish consignments to the European Union. Documentation requirements such as health certificates along with routine documents go along with every consignment. To make India the most preferred destination when it comes to acquisition of ornamental fish is the key driver at MPEDA. Towards this, MPEDA has assisted establishment of fish breeders and fish marketing societies across the country. Currently, MPEDA is planning on setting up over 7,200 breeding units across the country which will produce over 500 million ornamental fish per annum. To be one of the top three exporters of ornamental fish by 2012 is the objective of MPEDA. India, as you have seen in the film, is blessed with nearly 300 varieties of ornamental fish. MPEDA has made it its duty to ensure this heritage is protected. MPEDA is also taking all efforts to ensure that the ornamental fish farmers are given adequate support for developing the infrastructure to grow, rear and export these fish in accordance with all international standards. MPDA also brings in a huge technological support for these farmers in its own way trying to bridge the technological gap which the farmers in India suffer from. MPDA has also moved a step forward to ensure that the industry moves slowly but steadily towards green certification because this alone will ensure a sustainable development of ornamental fish in the country and also support a sustained international export of ornamental fish from India.